Clink AI just dropped its new Elements feature and it's mind-blowing. With Elements, you can create AI video scenes with multiple consistent characters, keep everything consistent from objects and garments to environments, matching perfectly. You can even create AI ads featuring products with consistent branding. The age of consistent everything has begun for AI videos. Let's get started. To access Elements, all you need to do is clicking on AI videos Ensure that image to video is selected here. You will realize that under image to video, now we have two options. First option is regular frames option, where we upload a single image and Clink animates it. Now the new option elements appears here. To use elements feature, you can upload four different images. These can be multiple characters, piece of clothing, objects, environments, even animal faces for animal face consistency. Let's make an example. I will start by uploading an image of a character here. Let's hit Upload. I have this character, which is a new interpretation of King Arthur as motorcycle gang leader. And I have this image depicting Excalibur as a hyper-advanced motorcycle. It's a new modern interpretation of King Arthur and Knights of the Round Table. I'm uploading now the face of King Arthur. I'm going to upload the Excalibur motorcycle. And lastly, I'm going to upload a scenery where we have this highway scene with a truck moving fast. I'm also uploading this. Now, prompt is required, meaning that you need to describe how these elements are connecting to each other and what's the context. I wrote this prompt, cinematic, the man with armor riding a futuristic motorbike chasing a truck on the highway speeding up hyper fast while camera follows them dynamically. You remember from my previous clean tutorials, if you want to connect a camera motion, you can do that by adding while camera doing X format, exactly like how I used here. We always start with describing our subjects and objects, and this is very important. And this is also recommended by Clink Team's official prompting guide. Okay, now our prompt is ready. You can of course choose the length, aspect ratio, and you can generate multiple videos. I highly recommend you to add negative prompt as well. It really makes a difference. I added morphing, anatomical errors, and glitch as a negative prompt, and I hit generate. Our video is ready. Then you see the King Arthur is placed on top of the Excalibur motorcycle and basically chasing this truck. Of course, it's not perfect. So as you will realize, we have a bit of a scale mismatch here. The truck seems too small in comparison to the rest of the video. And while King Arthur passing the truck, there is a bit of a morphing here. Of course, you can cherry pick some errors here and there. But if you really focus on King Arthur's face, and the motorcycle design, you will see a significant amount of consistency that we were not able to reach before with the other tools. Of course, we were able to achieve character consistency by training a Flux Lora or with other methods on mid journey using character reference, but combining a character reference with an object reference is new. Just for the record, Pika had a similar feature. But comparing this to Pika, I can clearly say that Clink implementation is much more smooth and works much better. So as a format, it supports JPEG and PNG images and maximum file size is 10 megabytes. I think it's gonna be pretty much enough for majority of images that you can use here. Okay, let's do another example. I'm uploading this image where Caveman is running away from a dinosaur and I want to try again an object consistency challenge where I will upload the scooter to the scene if you have an image with complex composition and if scene is crowded, Clink AI allows you to choose a single element within an image, which is a great convenience feature. Let me show you. When you click on this icon here, it will open a new window. And here, actually, you can crop your image and ensure that Clink AI will focus on this particular element in the image and will ignore the rest. When it comes to prompt, you can think elements as a mini storyboard as well. For example, here I use consecutive prompting, meaning that I'm putting events to a timeline. A caveman jumping to scooter, that's the first thing, and then running away from a dinosaur by a scooter. So this is called consecutive prompting, and actually Clink does really well with consecutive prompting. All you need to do is putting these events to a timeline. You will realize that how the action starts with caveman jumping into scooter and then dinosaur is coming out from the cave and chasing the man. Of course, you will realize there's a bit of limping problem here and there are some glitches here and there. But overall, I think it's a very impressive result. Now, I want to jump directly into multiple character consistency. 
because that's a really cool feature coming with the elements. Here, for example, I uploaded images of a two women. They have this thing looked and their outfit also looks different. And I wrote the prompt, two women are walking together in the jungle while camera follows them. If you are using multiple consistent characters, don't overcomplicate the prompt. Because if your prompt is too complex, you will realize some morphings will start between characters. If you keep it simple, you will get much more optimized results. And another recommendation is from me to use up to two consistent characters maximum. Because when we add the third character, things started to get mixed up and consistency and coherence really dropped and characters mix each other. So here I'm showing you an unsuccessful result where I tried with the maximum three characters and Clink wasn't able to give me a good result here. Here's another example which was really impressive for me. I tried a complex crowded scene with a character in it. This was the first image I chose and this was the second one which is pretty complex. A lot going on in these images. I didn't even use selected element feature but despite this fact it was able to understand and give me an unprecedented character consistency including their clothing and face features and everything. It was quite impressive for me. Here's another example where I uploaded these two images. There was a bit of struggle here with this morphing and kind of like anatomical weirdness happening but the rest of the shot is actually usable and it gave us nice consistent looking characters including the candle he's holding. Another tip is if you want to use this consistent elements feature I highly recommend you to use either selective picking within the image or use images with white background. You can easily do that while generating your image and it will give you an image with a white background and I did the same with the hoverboard here. I wanted to add here a camera motion as well. So it's not a perfect camera orbit, but there is a slight orbit motion. So I'm fine by that. Only issue here is that boxing gloves kind of mixed up among two characters. Even though they had distinct outfits, one of the characters got the second boxing glove, which is uh, an okay, understandable, honest mistake. All you need to do is rerun and then you will get better results. But overall, I'm impressed with this. Just for the record, I also tried solo character consistency because I thought maybe I can upload the single image as a character reference and maybe create a scene out of it. But unfortunately, when you upload a single image, it treats as just image to video. It animates the image, but it doesn't treat it as a character reference point. I wrote woman is shooting to aliens in a desert planet, but unfortunately it just gave me an animated image instead. In case you were wondering, this feature doesn't work for solo character consistency, meaning that you definitely need multiple images and you need to create a context. Next thing I want to show you is consistent clothing or garments, meaning that we are uploading images of pieces of some outfits or clothing, also image of a character, and then Kling puts these garments to our character's body. Here I uploaded this orange leather jacket and purple trouser. I used four elements here. I also edit an environment to test the environment consistency and I was really impressed by this result. Of course, it's very important that your prompt also matches the context nicely. Woman with orange leather jacket and purple trouser walking in Tuscany vineyard and then it gave us a perfectly consistent result. Here's another example. Uh, this time I removed the environment and I put her to a street you will realize there is a bit of a limping issue between legs and an unnatural walking here. But rest of the consistency, especially please focus on face consistency here, you will see a very impressive result. In next example, I went really crazy. I uploaded four elements, one model, cyber jungle hoodie, augmented reality glasses and a bag. And it wasn't able to put the bag to the scene because I didn't mention the bag in the prompt. And that's why it's really important that you mention all details, all elements in your prompt. So I'm adding here now woman with hoodie, holding a bag and wearing an augmented reality goggles walking on the street. Let's generate this. In the final result, I managed to put all elements to the scene, but you will realize that it doesn't really look coherent. Hoodie mixed up with leather jacket. Yes, we managed to put the bag to the scene, but details of that bag doesn't really look so good. And augmented reality glasses scale is off. It's too huge. 
So my recommendation is if you're going to use consistent clothing, the consistent garment feature, try to stick to three elements and don't overdo it because then it gets weird. And I highly recommend you to mention all piece of garments in your prompt. It's not enough to just add them as an element here. It's also very important that you mention the context in your prompt. In this last example, I thought, well, hoodie and trouser is easy. How about shoes consistency? And I wasn't disappointed at all. So you will see I use four elements here. Challenge the model a little bit again. I was impressed with Cyber Jungle branding. Looked consistent. The shoes looked consistent. We got the augmented reality glasses. Maybe the neon light wasn't part of it, but we somehow managed to get it. And model's face looked consistent as well. Really impressive result here. There is a bit of uh, mixing up with leather jacket with hoodie here, but it's a minor error. If you cherry pick, you can find little glitching, yes, but overall result is impressive. And if I would have more time, I would try socks consistency as well, <laughs> but I didn't have that much time. So maybe you let me know in the comments if you achieved socks consistency. Next thing I want to show you is consistent objects and products. So I use two elements this time. I have Cyber Jungle Yummies, it's a fake product from Cyber Jungle Universe, and we have a female model. There's also a cat in the image to make things a little bit more complex for Kling. It's not so straightforward because it needs to render both woman, cat, and the prompt, which is woman is holding a jar of candies and she's very happy, cat looks at the candies. So a lot of stuff going on here. You will realize that in the result, it wasn't able to render Cyber Jungle brand. So we had significant problem here. I probably need to re-roll this to ensure that the branding stays consistent. I had also examples where brand stayed consistent. So it's really up to re-rolling a little bit. And it's also up to how many elements you used in your image. Even though I didn't achieve in this particular result brand consistency, it's still impressive that it understood my consecutive prompt perfectly. Woman is holding a jar of candies, she's very happy, and cat looks at the candies. Next example is about object consistency again. I use two elements, a pirate and a rifle, and I was really impressed by the result. That how consistent the rifle looked. I think here we managed to reach around 60-70% consistency for the rifle, which is pretty impressive considering the industry standard and other state-of-the-art tools in the market. Yes, we had a bit of an issue with the anatomy and um, hands kind of look weird here, but the consistency of my character stayed up to 90, 95%. And this is all I need from a simple scene like that. This was exactly what I needed because maybe you want to build a storyline around a particular object. This wasn't possible until today, right? Because we didn't have this consistency before. This will open up new narratives for AI filmmaking that you can use objects, not only characters, as the center of the story. Just like Lord of the Rings, that how Ring was in the center of the story together with fellowship, object and characters together. I briefly mentioned environment consistency. Here I won't go into so much details, but I will just show you briefly that I had a ballerina dancing in Antarctica. So I had two images, images of a ballerina dancing and uh, Antarctica with a polar bear even. I just wanted to show you that because since I didn't mention polar bear, it didn't add polar bear to the scene. Originally in my image there was a polar bear, but since it's not in my prompt, it's also not here in the final video. And here another environment consistency issue. I had a giant gummy bear attacking to the city and I had a landscape photo of a city and you will see that we managed to achieve, I would say, a significant amount of environment consistency here. And my character consistency is superb. Even the texture looks like a gummy bear, reflecting exactly my original character reference. Next thing I want to show you is animal consistency. Here I used the photo of my dog Lonnie, an AI-generated image of this super cool cat, two animals together, and I put them to the context of flying a fighter jet together. Kling wasn't able to put it to the cockpit, but honestly, consistency level here for Loni and the cat is, I think, is pretty impressive. It even managed to get a yellow scarf of Loni, the cat's sunglasses and leather jacket is here. Pretty impressive result. In my test, I realized that it struggles when you have both face of a person and face of an animal. It really struggles. The consistency of 
the animal character just to show who, who is animal here is the animal coming from behind not me ape consistency really drops here so if you want to use animal and human together that may be a bit of a challenge as a summary clink elements is a great leap forward for ai filmmaking and as i mentioned this will open up new possibilities for us where we can use animal faces objects even piece of clothing as a center of the narrative because now we have a significant not perfect but a significant consistency for these objects dialogue scenes with two consistent characters are much more easier to generate now it was such a big hassle to generate in the past and clink ai team is really cooking and they are shipping fast i really appreciate how creator focused they are because they keep bringing new tools to our arsenal and toolbox Congrats to Clink team. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.